Minnesota is coming off a historic legislative session where a slew of progressive policies made their way to Governor Tim Walz's desk and became law. Some of these policies include voting rights expansion, free school lunch, and paid family and medical leave. Minnesota is traditionally a purple legislative state, and the Democratic Party only holds thin majorities in both chambers of the Congress. But they were able to get an unprecedented session in the books for a few reasons, and Democrats in other states should be paying attention. Strong grassroots organizing over the last 10 years set up a coalition that was united in their vision. I think without strong organizing, there still would have been victories this year, but they would have been fewer and they would have been much harder fought. The organizing led to constituents and politicians alike being on the same page when the Democratic trifecta was secured in November. The strong guidance from Governor Walls and leaders in the assembly held the coalition together. In order to have the kind of session we had this, this, this year, you do need strong leadership. And, and that was true. The leadership, the, the leadership in the House and the Senate and the governor's office, they were clear. They were aligned, they were casting a vision that would have an impact on generations. Another important variable was the fact that over the last 10 years, the DFL has been introducing these bills in the House only to get them shot down in the Republican-controlled Senate. This resulted in many policies accumulating and in some cases being refined for nearly 10 years. Many of these policies were focused on giving economic relief to middle-class families. And it's not just true of paid family leave. Most of these policies had uh, were shovel-ready and had been moved through the Democratic House for years and worked out all the kinks. So those two things had to be true. Democrats in Midwestern states like Ohio and Wisconsin can use Minnesota as a blueprint for getting majorities back in their General Assembly and passing economic relief for their constituents. For more content like this, subscribe to Heartland Signal and check out our website, heartlandsignal.com, for all of our written articles.